We the people against you, the usurping elite. What the elite should start doing now. Hello, I'm Adrian Salbucci again from Argentina. This is the second video in our series, What to Do. What the elite should start doing now. Funny question, because you know very well what you should be doing. If you were in any way as an elite interested in the common good of the people in each country on all continents, in the United States, in the UK, in Europe, in the Middle East, in Southeast Asia, in Latin America, we don't need to tell you. You know better than us what has to be done. Forbes magazine, the billionaires magazine, says that in 2008 there were 793 billionaires the world over with a combined net worth of 2.4 trillion dollars. The poorest 3 billion people on this planet have to do with much less than that. What a nice democratic world you guys have forged. The top 793 individuals are wealthier than the bottom 3 billion individuals. And the rest of us, well, we're just hanging on in there, or just about. Most of us are quickly slipping. We're in the middle of a limbo here, and very often with nowhere to go. Oh, sorry. I know the crisis has also affected you, because in 2007, there were 1,125 billionaires, according to Forbes magazine, with a net worth of $3.8 trillion which was more than the bottom 4 billion people on the planet. Something is very rotten and smells very bad indeed. All that usurped huge power, aptly and efficiently coordinated by your network of immensely powerful corporations, banks, media, and think tanks, have led us to this horribly dark world in which we are all trapped today. Ha! <sighs> We know for full well that you will never even use a part of your wealth for the common good of we the people. Actually, you use it in exactly the opposite direction. You use it to pauperize, attack, confuse, and destroy the common good. Actually, if we look at what you have done to all of our countries and what you have imposed on us through your local managers, caretakers, and veritable proconsuls, then it all becomes clear. All that we the people have to do is exactly the opposite of what you have been doing to us. Your new world order about to become a world government is a veritable master plan of what we should not be doing, not be accepting, on the contrary, what we must fight against. So thank you for making it all that much easier for us. Let me give you some examples of what I'm saying from my own country, Argentina, where I am promoting what we call down here the Argentine Second Republic Movement, Movimiento Segunda República Argentina. Why a Second Republic, you may ask? Because Argentina's present nation-state has decayed into a colonial entity subordinated to international bankers, powerful foreign states like the United States, the United Kingdom, and the State of Israel, and to the whole global New World Order cabal. We cannot reform our state. We ne literally need to refound it all together from scratch with real democracy, real justice, a real foreign policy, true government, real education, strong defense, health and social services, and not their virtual demo-like counterparts that our present day ruling elite stuffed down our throats from the media. The difference is, if you're hungry, between seeing, tasting, eating a delicious and very juicy beefsteak or eating a picture of a delicious and juicy beefsteak. They might look the same at first sight, the real stuff in the picture, but when you eat it, you'll know the difference. To do all of this, we have a plan that is simple to describe, albeit difficult to achieve. Had we the necessary power, ah, there's the rub, to implement it, and implement it thoroughly we would, it would totally turn around Argentina's present bad and sad situation in, I would say, not more than a year. How? Like I say, by observing what the elite have wrought upon us over the past 30 years, thanks to the billions of dollars of support that they have put behind local care, health caretaker governments, industrialists, media, journalists, bankers, etc. down here, so that they do the work that the, that the ruling elite need for Argentina to ensure that our country is brought down flat on its face and that it stays there. It all started 
in a certain in, in a way with treacherous military officers from the 50s to 60s and the 70s that were followed by cowardly and corrupt politicians like former presidents Carlos Menem, Fernando de la Rua, and today's crook presidents Nestor and Cristina Kirchner, lobbyists and bankers like Ruben Beraja and the Gelar brothers, Mario Blecher, Alfonso Platt Gay, so-called businessmen like Eduardo Eskenazi and Francisco de Narvaez, and legions of others who in one way or another are made to act as the elite local managers for Argentina. As I say, we just need to carefully observe and understand what these caretaker governments, industrialists, and media moguls do, and then do exactly the opposite. I'll give you an example. Five pillars to put Argentina back on its feet. The One World Order elite have succeeded in eroding and corrupting the structure of Argentina's nation-state, turning it from a once proud instrument for national independence into today's flabby, flabby colony. We will restore our sovereign nation-state. Second, the elite have succeeded in systematically destroying our national currency so that they could replace national credit with United States dollar banking debt to the delight of the Rockefellers, the Rhodes, the Soros, the Rothschilds of this world to whom we become financially enslaved. We will recover our sovereign currency and use it for the common good. Third, the elite have succeeded in ensuring that in over a quarter century, no nominally democratic Argentinian government should ever dare to investigate our crushing foreign debt that was illegitimately generated by an illegal military civilian regime that usurped power from 1976 to 1983. Why do they do this? Because they know full well that if we were to investigate the public debt of Argentina, we would be able to repudiate it in international courts on the basis of odious debt jurisprudence. Rather, they have ensured that all so-called democratic presidents from Alfonsín in 1983 to the, the crook, crook Kirchners of today have just refinanced that public debt once, twice, five, ten, a hundred times, always to the delight of the bankers and the bloody watchdogs at the IMF and the World Bank, who delight to see our crushing public debt grow and grow and grow as compound interest gets compounded more and more year in, year out. We will fully investigate that foreign debt and ensure that it is not just the people of Argentina who should pay, but rather that all parties should pay based on their respective accountabilities. And by that I mean the Argentinian state, yes, we have a part of that, the state has a part of that uh, responsibility, but also the private bankers, the International Monetary Fund, the rating agencies who kept saying that everything was just fine, former Argentinian government officers like former economy minister Domingo Cavallo, Daniel Marx, Jorge Lavagna, Carlos Menem, Fernando de la Rua, the Kirchners, who should all pay for their political accountabilities, and yes, go to jail if criminal acts are proven. Then, we will definitely be able to throw the money changers out of the temple of Argentinian independence. Fourth, <clears throat> the, the global elite have succeeded in debasing, weakening, and blocking our republican institutions by erecting a criminal party politics corruption machine subservient to money interests the elite have dragged Argentina to its present moral and cultural decay, political and economic collapse, and intellectual and social confusion. We will reinstate Republican institutions so that they have one overriding purpose, to serve the common good of the Argentinian people, and one strict priority, to serve the national interest. Our motto is simple. The common good of the people is always above the interests and greed for profits of individuals and sectors. I'll say that again. The common good of the people is always above the interests and greed for profit of individuals and sectors. Mind you, it is very clear to us that this process could only happen thanks to the treachery of local Argentinians who have ruled us all these years. We're not just blaming the international power centers. We have, like a Trojan horse, the enemy inside our own land. On this subject, one of our better presidents, a gentleman by the name of Hippolyte Wittigozhin, said back in the 1920s, 
I do not so much fear those foreigners who want to buy Argentina out as those locals who are so bent on selling Argentina off. How true his words echo today.